So hopefully I'm not blown out and I'll try to speed this up because you guys are on the stabilizer right now. But this, I'm, re I'm realizing that I'm not too good at my uh, at my glide, glide cam skills. Uh, is this on manual focus? Okay, hopefully it should be on me. All right. Um, so I'm not too good at my glide cam footage taking and I figure that I should probably practice because I don't want to be stinking when I go out for jobs, come home and I have to st I have to stabilize everything. So you guys are on the stabilizer though right now, that's probably why you're getting a little seasick. Um, I have this little setup here of my 60D. I'm just gonna do some passes and I might keep this here, I don't know, for a week or so maybe. Maybe I'll just randomly pick up my stabilizer and just practice with it. Get some solid movements down because I did a wedding. I think that'll be in next week's video, I think. And I think it turned out okay, but I just had to stabilize and slow down so much stuff to cover my mistakes. And I don't want to be, I don't want to be doing that. I don't want to have to shoot crappy stuff and then having to fix crappy stuff. So that's what this whole setup is for. Just trying to get as smooth movements as, as possible because this is what I'm doing a lot I'm finding with my at least my wedding stuff it's that I'm just trying to be nice smooth going across things like that um, just a simple lighting setup I have one softbox there the other softbox there and uh, they're both on full blast this really isn't like a beauty shot at all it's just uh, for something for me to focus on and I'm not sure if the camera so yeah this is kind of zoomed out the zoomed outness is 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 covering up a lot of my mistakes because I'm getting a lot of boating boating action there's this kind of thing when you when you use a, a glide cam stabilizer so that's what I'm trying to prevent that's what I'm trying to teach myself come up with the different styles to do and I want to be able to use both of my hands. So like right now, I have my right hand on the little handle, and then I have my left hand like keeping it steady. But I want to be able to use both hands. So right now, my left is on the handle, and my right is on the shaft. And you can see that we're getting a little bit of, a little bit of bowing. Now this is shot in 60 frames per second, so I'll probably be able to slow this down, probably, definitely, definitely, maybe, to cover up some of these mistakes. Also, I probably should rebound, nope, see, now the camera's on the, is on the wrong side of the screen. I probably should rebalance this because I am, I do have a, a zoom lens, there we go. So the balance point has changed because that happens a lot, I found when I do a wedding is that I'm always changing focal length. So I'll go in like that. Maybe I'll come into 50, 50 mil right there. Get close to something. Really lock it in. Just like that. Keep it still, bro. Like this is me trying to keep it still. I think that's a okay, but I'm still getting that boating effect. Okay, so this past week, I think I should be in frame. So please excuse the perspiration that's going on. I had no idea that that much, that it was that visible. Good old 5D doesn't have a flip out camera, so I couldn't see myself. So just excuse that. And yeah, just just excuse that. Okay. Yeah, this, this past week I had to get that wedding video shot and edited. And that took a lot of my time. So I wasn't able to shoot anything this past week but I still wanted to get something out to you guys so I just made this little this little setup that I that I put up in my living room probably won't keep it up but I'll definitely do some more practicing with this guy this is what I was talking about so I want to be able to to glide cam like this and be able to glide cam like this so move so use both use both hands so when one gets tired just very easily switch to the other um, this guy does have its problems. If you want to know what those problems are, go to this link over here and I'll show you. Not I'll show you, I'll just, I'll just talk about them. But yeah, it does, it does have its problems, but it's all that I have right now. And you know, just gotta make it, just gotta make it work. I'm under the impression that if you train yourself on crappy stuff, 
when you get things that actually work properly, it actually makes your, it just makes your skills that much better. Like I used a, played guitar when I learned how to play guitar, had the guitar and I taught myself how to play. But the guitar, the frets were just, were like super worn out. And it, I think it helped, actually I'm pretty, I know it helped me build up muscle strength in my hand and uh, helped me build up calluses. So when I got a guitar that, that the frets weren't worn, worn out, it was a lot easier to play. So that's what I'm kind of hoping with this busted stabilizer. That when I get an actual like glide cam or whatever, and I start glide camming around, it'll be a heck of a lot easier to use. So that's pretty much it. That's basically that's all I wanted to say. Thank you guys for watching. On this channel, I'm just documenting my my journey in this photography stuff, and as I learn things, I, I share them if I think you guys want to know. But mainly, it's just me failing my way to success. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button after you do that. Don't forget to hit that notification button so you guys can be notified every time that I upload something. And I'll see you guys in the next video. In the next video. All right, roll the outro that I don't have. Also, I really, I kind of want to upgrade this to a, to a 6D because, I don't know, just, just, just the images from it, I'm not liking. I'm not digging the images that I'm getting from the 60D. The video images, the still images, I think are still, you know, spectacular on point, but yeah. Okay, so that's enough.